This time tomorrow, season three kicks off and with it, we'll have a bunch of new content. But one thing that I wanted to touch on is something that's important for today and today only leading into tomorrow. What happens to my stuff in season two going into season three? All those maybe unearned items that you didn't get around to. To some, this may be a no brainer or even a non-issue if you completed everything, in which case, love that for you. But this video is for those worrying about what happens if they don't get around to everything by the time season three launches. Today, we're taking a look at and breaking down the specific items that you should be aware of ahead of season three and what you should perhaps prioritize if you're looking to earn anything in particular with limited time left. And with some of these sort of events and items going away at different times throughout the next 24 hours or so, it's important to know those kind of things. So drop your thoughts as we go along, drop a like if you enjoy the video or find it at all insightful, and do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you're new and would like to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 3, Warzone, Season 3, along with other FPS content. I'd love to have you. Finally, we're also getting into the swing of posting more short form content, so if you'd like to follow over on TikTok, I'd love to see you over there. But anyways, let's jump into it. So for seasonal refreshes, there's a few bigger ticket items and a few things that you might not exactly consider. We're going to try and touch on all of that here in this one. For the big ticket stuff, obviously the stuff that you're going to immediately lose out on, or rather know you're going to lose out on, is the battle pass. But is there anything in particular that returns after season two, anything that's gone for good? Whatever the case, let's take a look at that. The items that will return in some capacity after season two are your base weapons, aftermarket parts, and operators to some degree. That one kind of has an asterisk on it. We'll touch on that in a second. And then what's gone forever are any blueprints, uniforms, zombies, bonuses, smaller items like emblems, decals, calling cards, and such. And if you care about them at all, the season two reloaded update actually brought along a universal camo that will go away forever if unearned as well. Things like your weapons, those are going to head over into the armory unlock system as we've seen can happen with all of the season one weapons, most recently those being the Ram 7, HRM 9, Storm Ender, XRK Stalker, and the Tack of Valvery. All those can be found in there, checked off if you have them, available for unlock if you haven't. Same will be said about the current weapons, the Ram 9, BP-50, SOA Subverter, and the Soul Render. Aftermarket parts, there's one from the Battle Pass that was seen in the classified reloaded tab with a Soul Render. That'll go into the Armory Unlock system. And then your operators, these usually go away, but oftentimes you'll see bundles return for the operator later on in the next season, the next two, three seasons, whatever the case, where you can use that operator, but you just usually won't have access to that default operator skin as when they were introduced. But you'll be able to have those operators in the future or the potential of them. That's where the asterisk comes into play with that because it's just something that's added in later on down the line. But anyways, other things outside of your battle pass that are big ticket items for the season at large are your weekly challenge rewards. We had eight sets of weekly challenges for Modern Warfare 3 this season. And along the way, you ended up earning six aftermarket parts, one weapon and one weapon blueprint. Now those aftermarket parts and the SOA subverter base weapon those will be returning after season two again, making their way into season three's content. And then what's gone forever is, well, the two things of the Rotten Inferno camo, one that I think is probably one of the best camos we've had in Modern Warfare 3 to date. So if you want that one, make sure you complete all your weekly challenge sets. And then that Rook blueprint for the HRM 9 is going to go away forever as well. That being the week eight weekly challenge set reward, not the overall reward. But again, as mentioned with the battle pass, the weapon of the SOA subverter will end up the weapon of the SOA subverter and the six aftermarket parts will go into the armory unlock system. So just like the battle pass aftermarket part, you can end up unlocking these via scoring points by completing daily challenges or winning matches of multiplayer, staying alive in Warzone and such. And also every three contracts you complete end up earning you a point in zombies as well. So it's a very easy way to end up getting those sorts of things. It's not going to be anything too tedious or too stressing when trying to go and get those after the season ends here. But just know that the functional things will be returning here in regards to challenges and just simple unlocks but the cosmetics that's where stuff is going to end up deviating a little bit but now let's talk a little bit about some of the lesser thought of but still relevant items to the season as a whole and things that will be going away that you might want to take advantage of before the time runs out ranked play is a big one across both modern warfare 3 multiplayer and the ranked mode there as well as then the warzone resurgence ranked you can end up getting certain things like calling cards uniforms and in some cases right now for the multiplayer side of things the cdl rule sets with it a camo associated with with your rank placement, that's something that you might want to hit a certain rank before the season ends up finishing up. Maybe you're right on the cusp of leveling up into a higher skill division, but that's one thing that you're going to want to make sure that you do before 1 a.m. Pacific, 
4 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. in the UK. The seasons four ranked wrap up before the season actually refreshes and by a decent amount of time as well. The other stuff we'll touch on here to round out this video is really only like one hour before the season update itself. But this is one of those things that I want to touch on for sure, because again, it goes out and completes overnight. So you very well may think, oh, I can get a little bit of grinding done in the morning or something that won't be the case. So if you're looking to either hit any sort of placement rewards or anything like that, or you're looking for your kills, wins, kills and assists, or top five placements, or any of those other actual in-season rewards that you can earn along the way, and it's not the season end placement rewards, you'll just wanna make sure you do that a little quicker than maybe say the rest of these other items. You have a little less time by comparison. But that said, the final things we wanna to touch on here just as a little wrap up are the events, because those again, have variable timeframes on when those are completed as well. Currently, we do have that final season event in season two of the Vortex Decays Realm, where you have challenges that you can complete to end up earning a couple of different items, but then ultimately that Riggler animated camo for universal use across all weapons. But you have challenges you can complete in Modern Warfare 3 MP, Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and in Warzone, which honestly, a lot of the challenges are pretty dumb, pretty tedious. The ones that I honestly would recommend if you're doing this on a limited time frame here, as you probably are if you are watching this and caring about that, is the zombie stuff. I think that that is by far the most efficient, least annoying, and least tedious way to end up completing all five challenges. For those, honestly, if you end up tracking them and checking them in game and setting yourself up, you can do it all within one game. If you have two insured weapon slots, you can end up taking in two weapons and it's just something that helps out tremendously. Or honestly, you could probably even do it if you have the right stash items as well, but you can absolutely get all five of those challenges done within one 30 to 40 minute time frame. So that's something that I'd highly recommend if you do not have that. But again, that will end at 8 a.m. Pacific, one hour before the end of season two. So just bear that in mind. And the final thing to take into consideration for items that will wrap up here at this is Operation Day Zero, the Warzone Mobile crossover event. That's actually going to end as of the season two into season and three refresh it ends right at 9 a.m pacific time but honestly for that it seems like all you got to do if you haven't done this i could be wrong on this one just because i don't care about mobile too much i'm not going to play warzone mobile really but all you have to do is just simply link your accounts to the mobile account you can end up getting some free rewards here for that but again only on a limited time frame for what is left available but that said that is the final things that i want to touch on here with you real quickly before season two wraps up going into tomorrow and that is what you should hopefully be aware of now at this point. But that said, that is we're going to wrap it up. So before we do, make sure you check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage for what I firmly believe are the best blue light glasses on the market. I've worked with these guys now for nearly three years and cannot recommend them enough. They're the most lightweight, comfortable, and durable frames out there as far as I've used. And I definitely think they've helped my daily productivity. Full transparency, they are a bit more of an investment, but I do think your vision is absolutely worth investing into. Especially if you're like me, you look at a monitor, your phone, or you're gaming for a good chunk of the day. So if you guys would like to learn more, at the very least, I'd recommend checking out their website where they can better break down the science and all the specifics of their product way better than I could. But what I can personally say is that, again, through those three years of working with them using their product, I'd highly recommend them. So if you guys would like to learn more, check the link in the description below. And if you'd like to pick something up for yourself, use code ESPRESSO for 10% off your entire order. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Anything in particular you're going to be last second grinding out here, whatever the case, drive your thoughts. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you miss a single thing in all things Modern Warfare for three war zone and season three content along with other fps content we got you covered here on the channel but for now thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you later take care and peace